Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan here. And, uh, well, with today being the, um, first off, it's Wednesday, so, uh, bringing you guys a World of Tanks video. And, uh, well, today also happens to be the final day of the 60-day login challenge mission thing. And, uh, as you guys were already aware, uh, I already have the SU-100Y, the Tier 6 Premium Tank they were giving away. And so, uh, since I already had it, they gave me the gold equivalent, which is kind of funny because uh, I paid, I bought the thing on sale, so I actually made a profit off of that, which I thought was a little interesting. But anyway, um, so, I, I really, there wasn't any low tier, uh, premium tanks that I wanted to get. There wasn't really anything else that I could think of that I wanted. So I converted all 3,250 gold into free experience, which uh, I have n I am not short of on all of my other machines. So what I ended up doing was that got me roughly 81,000 experience that I could use on any machine I wanted. So having reacquired the ISU just a, about a week ago, I uh, I decided to heck with it. I'm going to get the BL10 gun. So that is exactly what I did. Time to roll out. And this was the third game I had with this massive gun. Now, I know I said in the past that I sold it because I didn't like it. Uh that was because mostly uh I was driving a stock ISU and if you are unaware of this thing, we'll see tier 10s with the the 152mm howitzer you got a tier before, except it fires slightly faster. Yeah, th that just wasn't going to work. Ever. You know, I, I did kill an E100 with it, but that was because I spammed them at the side of its turret, uh, high explosive shells, while it was preoccupied with other tier 10 tanks. That, that was basically it for me. Um, and this thing, without the upgraded uh, tracks, does not turn very quickly at all. Like, you can see right now, it does not turn very fast at all with the upgraded suspension. Um, so, yeah, this, this was, uh, uh, this was definitely going to be a difficult grind. Luckily, I had the gold, so I just decided, yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this thing fully upgraded because, well, other than the engine and the other gun, uh, because why not? So this was the third game. The other two games, there wasn't really anything notable about them. Uh, I had one in swamp. I just managed to do a little bit of damage there. Uh, so here we're gonna have the first example of why this gun is hilariously fun. Full health, tier 6 heavy tank, 870 health, one shot. Uh, if you are aware, or unaware in this case, uh, I am a massive fan of one shots. But they don't call this the troll cannon for, um, you know, that it just does an insane amount of damage. This gun has 286 millimeters of penetration, it currently has the most penetration of any gun I own. Um, and does 750 average damage with its standard AP shells. Um, yeah, this, this thing does insane amounts of damage, uh, and my reload on this is 16 seconds. The gun mantlet is also very, very strong. Uh, it is made completely of Stalin himself. So good luck getting through that thing. That's your only notable armor on the front of this tank, anyway. Um, I was prioritizing these light tanks just because, as this thing does not turn fast, uh, I do not want to get caught in the rear. Luckily, as you're going to see in a minute, uh, our friendly SU-101 knows what he's doing, and he's going in to help basically defend this collapsing flank. And thanks to him, I actually survived for quite some time. Uh, T29, I do not want to take another shot from him, and, uh, 
there's the troll cannon yet again. Uh, not fully aimed in, ba barely aimed in at all, actually. Uh, this thing does not have good accuracy. I don't actually know the um, exact statistic, but it is bad. And the aim time is really um, awful, too. Uh, Charioteer, gone. Uh, I'm at three kills right now. And whenever I finally do go down, uh, spoiler, I don't actually survive this match, sadly. Uh, well, let's just say I fired six shots at... Yeah. Uh, in this match, I fired six shots. Five of which hit their target and penetrated. And only four of those did damage. Those four shots that I fired did 3,444 damage. Yeah. That's what you can kind of expect with this BL-10 gun. Uh, the grind to get it is insanely bad. I gave up. Uh, the only reason why I actually have it now is because I cashed it in. Um, but, uh, this thing's gonna be so much more fun now. Uh, well, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Uh, three kills, 3,444 damage, uh, third match with this gun, and, uh, high caliber. So if I actually, if that one shot on the Tiger managed to penetrate, and I was on Tank Mission, uh, Tank Destroyer Mission 15, sadly I'm not, I'm on 14, uh, that, that, that could have been a uh, completion for me. Sadly it was not, but oh well, uh, I can always do it again, it's not like it's going to be that difficult in this machine. Uh, but uh, just a quick video, uh, I don't really have any reviews uh, planned just yet. Uh, so, unless I get any good games, uh, it's probably just going to be, yeah, it's probably just going to be gameplays until I can get some good stuff for reviews. So, anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this relatively quick video on the ISU, the Tier 8 Russian heavy, uh, not heavy tank, uh, tank destroyer. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Remember to like comment, subscribe, do whatever. If you got any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I love reading them. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.